Hey guys, welcome back to Ambob and Litz Bob. Today's video is going to be on Sir Isaac Newton and his three laws of motion that he discovered. So, follow me on a journey. I'm Ambob and Litz Bob unfortunately could not join us today. What a tragic time. So, let's go. <laughs> Isaac Newton can also be called Sir Isaac Newton because in April of 1705, he was knighted by Queen Anne. Isaac Newton was born January 4th, 1643 and died on March 31st, 1727. Before he died, he complained of abdominal pain and then lost conscious and never woke up again. Isaac Newton's first law of motion is an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. An example for Isaac Newton's first law of motion is that headrests and seatbelts are placed in cars to prevent whiplash injuries from rear end collisions. Wearing a seatbelt stops you from moving forward when the car slows down. Newton's second law of motion is the acceleration of object is dependable upon two variables, net force acting on the object and mass of the object. Net force is the sum of all forces acting on the object. And mass is the weight of the object. Acceleration is the rate of change in an object. An example for Newton's second law of motion is pushing two cars. The two cars I pushed was a GMC Terrain, which weighs almost 4,000 pounds, and a Lincoln Navigator L, which weighs just a little over 6,000 pounds. Here I am pushing with an unbalanced force. An unbalanced force is two forces that are not equal acting on an object. A balanced force is when two forces are acting on an object that are equal. That would mean if the object is already moving, it would stay at the same rate it is moving, and if it's not moving, then it will stay still. As you can see, I have to use more force to push the black car than I do the red car. The red car comes quite easily, where the black car, it, it's a struggle because it's a lot heavier and requires more force. Newton's third law is that there is a equal and opposite reaction that acts with the same momentum but different velocity. An example for Newton's third law of motion is a car driving down the road. Momentum is the quantity the motion has. Velocity is the speed and direction of the object. The tire pushes back against the road and the road pushes forward against the tire. Therefore, the car goes forward. If you enjoyed this video all about Sir Isaac Newton and his laws, of motion, don't forget to like and subscribe. Probably gonna fall now, phone. Yeah, probably. Oh dear. Careful, it's rolling back to you.